Gravity. Magic. The control of the space-time continuum itself. No, I'm not talking about telekinesis, as much as that would be very cool. I'm talking about tensegrity. The idea of using a tensile strength string to control gravity itself, or at least give it the impression that you are controlling gravity. Disclaimer, you can't control gravity, but what you can do is make something that lo looks like you're controlling gravity. I'm talking about a floating chair or stool or anything else you want to make look like it's floating. And you know how we're going to do that? We're going to use a chalkboard anima we're going to use a blackboard animation to show you how I'm going to do it. Roll animation. Welcome to another Dandelion Creations video. This time we're trying something a little different, a gravity defying stool. I will be using tensegrity, a lot easier to say than it is to spell. But what is it? Keep watching to find out more. Tensegrity is using the tensile strength of the material, such as string, to hold an item up, giving the impression it's floating. It's all about the tension. So my plan is this. First, I'll make two triangle frames. I'll then add supports to both, with a string connecting them both, thus creating tension. While I've got the opportunity, I'd like to thank all of you who subscribe and watch my channel. Your support means a lot. Thank you. Now, on with the build, and let's get going. So, first of all, let's square off this wood. I had it lying around for a bit for a project that hasn't yet happened, but waste not, want not. Cuts are all done. Let's move on to the angles. And hopefully, I figure these out. Angles in my thing. Just got a splinter. Pull that out. Splinter out. Let's carry on. Okay, we're done. 60 degree angles are cut. 
Hopefully, they're going to go together relatively well. It is my first time. I'm always trying to learn new things. So, let's put this together. I'm going to be making two triangle frames. So, I add the arms onto it. Once I've done that, we can move on and get the tense integrity stall complete. Fingers crossed. We have a dandelion first, a triangle, triangle. Dandy tip of the day, always save your off cuts so you can use them when you're clamping. It makes it easier to clamp on a 90 degree angle than on an angle that's not 90 degrees. Enjoy that tip. Got the two triangles, triangles. That means that the base and the top are both complete. Now moving on, let's create some support. Once I've done that, I'm going to start drilling through, adding the tension lines, and then we should have, at least in theory, a floating chair. Stay tuned. Okay, almost done. You are going to say, Scott, that isn't floating. And at the moment, it's all up 50% right because it's not going to float. But part of tense integrity is we need tension. So now I'm going to have to throw tension lines down so that when it wobbles, it won't fall. Pretty much. So let's throw the tension lines in. And then hopefully we've got a floating chair slash stool slash table pretty much a multi-purpose floating object what's not to love
my friends, is thin air. So it's done. I do like doing that to it. It's floating, or there or thereabouts. This is just, as I said, a proof of concept. I was gonna do something a bit more finished, but I've never done this sort of thing before. Uh, I've done my research online. Um, I've looked at all the builds, I've looked at the principles behind it, and it does make sense now. And especially giving it a go, I'm a very kinesthetic learner. Giving it a go has given me an insight into exactly how I'm gonna do it in the future. Now I have got some plans for something bigger and better, a bit more solid, well, as much as you can be when it's floating, um, as well as a bit more exciting, just something more usable, as the rope I'm using here is sort of something I had lying about. It's not a very thick nylon. It is very strong though, as it uses tensile strength. I'm hoping you'll enjoy the video, and also you'll feel invigorated to uh, give me some comments about what you'd like to see next. Uh, a few options I've got spinning around is I'll change the base to a square which will make it easier to centre this as well as get a more stable top support. I'll also be using chains, maybe colouring it. I've enjoyed building it, I've learned a lot. I've learned at the end just staple it together. Or next time I'll have to figure out what, I'll have to learn a few nuts or I'll have to figure out a way of making something a bit stronger. If you like the video remember to click like, subscribe and also click the little bell button so that you know when I'm bringing the next video out. Remember, if you do want to sort of keep up to date with what I'm up to, get any sort of sneak peeks on the videos, then check out our Instagram, which is dandelion underscore creations, and I'll put it somewhere here. I appreciate you all tuning in. The subscribers are growing, and it's quite exciting to actually have someone view and enjoy the work I'm doing. Stay dandy.